Most people walking into a record store know exactly what record they want to buy. They don't go up and say, what record should I buy? They know exactly what record they want to buy because there is the phenomenon of the radio station, a free sampling so that we make our decisions before we go in to the distribution center for the records. We need the equivalent in the software business. We need a software radio station, per se, quote unquote. And what's going to happen is that I think right now we Software is information, and the information is expressed with a bunch of ones and zeros. And what we do now is we take those ones and zeros and we encode them magnetically on this piece of mylar with a bunch of gook on the surface of it that remembers the ones and zeros. We take it, we put it in a package with a manual, we take that, we put it on a truck, we ship it to a dealer, they take it out of the truck, they put it on the shelf, it sits there for a while, costing them money, a customer comes in, peruses them, and picks one out, takes it home, shoves it in their computer, and it translates it back to electrical impulses of ones and zeros. Now, I mean, that's a pretty long path. Where we'll be going is transmitting this stuff electronically over the phone lines to where when you want to buy a piece of software, we take our ones and zeros, and you, never, you ever push a touch tone phone and you're doo -doo 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 -doo, right? We'll send tones over the phone that the computers will understand and go directly from computer to computer. That's what we'll be doing. Once we do that, maybe it's possible to say, well, We'll give you 30 seconds of this program for free, or we'll give you five screenshots. We'll let you play with it for a day. And if you want to buy it, just type in your visa number and you got it. I don't know how we're going to do it, but we need a radio station.